Hi guys, Jen Brown here with Jimra. I wanted to tell you about a really special program that I created along with several other Jimra trainers. It's a 28 day program consisting of workouts that focus on abs, butt, cardio, and stretch. Each workout will be right around 15 minutes long and I really hope you can join us. It's gonna be fantastic and I know I can't wait. I'll see you there. I'm Darian, I'm here with Jim Raw today. We have a lower body routine for you. All you need is a mat, no equipment, and we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up. So we're just gonna fir firmly plant our feet and then nice big sweep of the arms up. Maybe take a deep breath in. And exhale, dive forward. Oh, so try to relax the shoulders here. Let the head just hang. Whew. Maybe shake it out a little bit. Shake it, yes, no. And then just slowly come halfway up, bringing the hands in front of the shins. Look forward. And one more time, back down. And staying down here, just walk your feet out wider than your hips. Try to go as low as you can, so stretching out the backs of the legs. Try to keep the toes pointing forward. And then you can just lunge a little bit over to that right side, flex the left foot. So really stretching it out here. Maybe come back up, walk your fingers over to that right side. And take it back to the other side now. Lunging to the left, flexing that right foot. Straightening the leg back up, walking the fingertips over to the left. Little twist here. And take it back center. Maybe just do a little bend in the knees. Extend, bend, extend. And bring it back to that extension and then just slowly Roll on up, roll the shoulders down and back. And you're gonna bring the feet back in line with your hips, just slightly wider. And we're just gonna do a little, little run or like a little stand in run, knee ups here. So just try to get that heart rate up. So right here, so start that breath. Inhale and exhale. So try to bring those knees up. So now if this is too much, you can always just do alternate knee ups for a little bit of a modification, but otherwise, try to keep it fast. And then set the feet down. Now we're gonna take it to kicks in the back. So just kick, kick. So try not to let the knees come forward now. Again, keeping the heart rate up, trying to get that breath going. Again, if this is too much, you can always just slow it down one at a time. And plant both feet a little bit wider than the hips, arms to a T, just alternate going to the toes. You tap right, back up, tap left, back up. So always breathing here. Right away, try to get those abs pulling in. Feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs. And last one. Next one, we're gonna hold it up and we're just gonna get right into our routine. Bring the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Toes are pointing forward. And we're just gonna take it to a squat. So squat back, lift up, squat back, lift up. So make sure the weight is going back into your heels here. It's like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. So option to keep it like this, or you can add a jump at the top. You jump, squat down, jump, squat down. So no matter what you're doing, whether it's jumping or not, you wanna make sure you're squeezing the backside when you come up. So wait, shift back, squeeze up. A few more. Next one, you're gonna hold it low here, just a little down and downward motion. So 
keeping your abs in the whole time. Very important that your core is working in order to get into the backs of the legs here. So you want the knees to stay over the ankles. It's like you're sitting back in a chair. So now here, bring the hands behind the head, more movement. We're gonna squat down, then twist to the right. Squat down, twist to the left. So now we're getting lower body with some oblique work. Down, twist up. Keeping the abs pulling in. Now hold it low here, hold it still. So hold it as still as you can. Option to bring your hands back to prior, maybe back to the hips. Alternate stepping the feet in. So right foot in, step out, left foot in, step out. So staying in the squat position. So try not to let the hips come up. Out, in, out. Next one, option to just jump it in. So jump in, out, in, out. Or you can just stay doing it like you were before. Staying low. Last one. You're gonna hold it zipped, isometric hold, so that means nothing moves. Zip the legs together, sink the seat back, weight to the heels. Option, reach the arms forward. Last eight for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Quickly shake that out. All right. So now, moving on, we're gonna bring our heels together, toes apart. And then you're just gonna lift the heels just a little bit off the floor and make sure those heels are still together. Bring your hands to the hips, pull the abs in, lower the seat to count. So you get down, two, up, two. So big range here. So you're going all the way down you can and avoid straightening the legs on the way up. Next one, you're gonna hold it low here, flatten the feet, and then you're gonna point your left toe, extend the leg one count. You extend, tap, extend, tap. So a little bit of a balance challenge here. So that's where the abs come in again. That's how you're gonna keep that balance by pulling the abs in. Leg goes all the way straight, tap. All the way straight, tap. So on that extension, you wanna really feel the muscles working in that inner and outer thigh. Next one, you're gonna hold it straight, just up and up. So try to keep the inner thigh facing upwards. So remember, keep that breath. Avoid leaning back or forward. Now hold the lift, set the foot down just a few inches, keeping those heels in line. Maybe hover the heels again, just lower, lift, lower, lift. So through this set, we're gonna keep our knees outwards just so we can get different areas of the lower body. A few more, down, up, down, up. So not as big as when we're doing two counts. Now hold it low and then bring those heels back together. Repeat, you're gonna take it down, two, up, two. All the way down, think almost all the way up. So start to feel that shaking already. Now hold it low, flatten the feet, point the right toes. Extend, bend, tap. Extend, tap. So same thing, we're doing those inner and outer thighs. Just doing that other leg now. So you know what to expect on this side. Last one, hold it out. Just lift and lift. Keep a soft bend in that standing leg. Keep breathing, just up, up, abs in. For three, two, one, set the foot down just a few inches, ankles in line, and then heels will hover a bit. Down and up. So lower, lift, right here. For five, six, seven, eight, get a little lower, nine, last one here, and 10. All right, nice work. So shake that one out. Now we're gonna walk our feet out wider than our hips and our toes are gonna turn out slightly. So still back with those inner and outer thighs we're focusing on. 
So you can bring your hands to the hips here, and now just lower your seat two counts. Down for two, and up for two. So go nice and low, avoid straightening when you come up. So take it down, and up. So you wanna keep the knees wide here as well. Next one, you're gonna hold it low. You're gonna bring the fist up, punch twist. Punch twist to the right, back center. Punch twist left, back center. So right, center, left, center. So you're staying low here. Try to bring those hips in line with the knees. Last one, we're gonna hold it to the right. Just twist and twist as you lower and lower. So you're getting work in the obliques with that little twist and you're just doing little lowers of the seat. So little dips here, dip and dip. Next one, bring it back center, take it faster. Punch twice, punch right. Left, right. So same thing, just a little quicker. So you should feel your legs start to shake already. I know I am. Next one, hold it to the left. Just twist and twist. So dip and dip. Few more changes in this position. Bring it back center, hands to the hips. You lift your right heel, lower. Lift left, lower. So alternate lifting. Almost there. Now speed it up. Lift left, lift right. Left, right. So keep it low. Try to keep the back flat. Abs in. Hold both heels up. Hold it still. This is where we finish out. For eight, seven, six, embrace the seek. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice work. All right, so now we're gonna get more into the booty. So we're gonna come down to our mat here. So come to a tabletop right away. We're gonna start with our right side. So hands should be a little bit wider than the shoulders. And you're gonna send your right leg straight back behind you pointing the toe, both hips down. Just bring the foot up and over to out. Up and out, two, up and in. Two, up and in, two. So right here, we're working the booty, so that crease right here. Using your abs as well as opposition when you lift your leg. So leg is nice and straight. Ooh, I can feel the backs of my legs turning on. <laughs> Next one, we're gonna hold it center. Leg just goes up, up. So make sure you have a soft bend in your elbows too. Try to keep the weight out of the wrists. Keeping your leg nice and straight as long as you can. Remember, keep pulling your abs in. So the more you work, or you're deep in your abs, the more you're gonna get into the seat here. Hold it up, just bring the heel to the seat. You kick, extend. So kick the seat, extend. Kick, extend. So all the way in, all the way out. So it's like curls with the backs of your legs here. So when you extend your leg, you should feel it shake even more. Remember, keep focusing on keeping your abs in. Keep the knee at the same height the whole time. Next one, you're gonna hold the heel into the seat. Lower the knee to counts. You're gonna take it down in line, two, then all the way up, press two. So down, two, press up. Two, and up. So stop the knees in line, and then press all the way up. So when you do that press up, try to tighten your abs even more. One count now, you lower, lift up. In line, press up. So again, when you press your leg up, make sure you're pulling your abs in opposite positions. That's how you're gonna really get into that crease right there. Keep 
Keep the abs in. Next one, hold it up. Just press up and up. Keep breathing, sharp exhales. Up, up. Keep the abs in. Keep your hips pointing down. We're gonna do a tiny change in just a second. Hold it up, open the knee to counts. Knee opens to the side two, then down. Two, so open, two, close. Two, so you're not opening your hips. Your hips should still be facing down. It's just the knee that's turning out on that slight diagonal. So you open, two, down, two. And the knee is staying back behind my hip line. One count, open, close, open, close. So getting more into the side of the booty now. Next one, hold it open, just lift and lift. So squeeze the side of the seat here to try and lift your leg just a little bit. Even if it's just an inch, you might not even see it move, but you wanna feel it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let that go for a second. Maybe come into child's pose real quick. Pat that out. And we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. So again, your hands are gonna be a little bit wider than the shoulders. You're gonna send your left leg back behind you, straight in line with the hip, toe pointed, up and out two counts, up and out. Two, up and in, two. So nice straight leg here. Again, pulling in those abs while focusing on the crease of your seat here. Keep breathing. Next one, hold it in. Just lift and lift. Up, up. So you're squeezing right here. So this little spot right here to do that lifting motion of the leg while also pulling your abs in, in opposition. So you're creating more resistance with your own body here. Keep pulling it in, a few more. Now kick the heel to the seat. You kick, extend. So bend, extend, all the way in, all the way out. So back to those curls with the glutes. So try to kick the heel to the seat and then go all the way straight like someone pulling your toes away from you. Now hold the bend, just lower, two, press up, two. So same thing we did on the other side. All the way up, two. So knees in line, press and use your abs. Down for two, up for two. Take it one count. Lower, lift. So knees in line, press up. Few more. Stay strong, you got this. Now one, hold it up. Just up and up. So like you're trying to poke a hole into an imaginary ceiling with your tiptoe here. Few more and then we're gonna do that little turnout. Now open the knee to count. So you open, two, close for two. So open, close. So knees back behind the hip. Ah. Now take it one count. Open, close, open, close. One more change, stay strong. Hold it open, lift, lift. This is it, last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. 
Let that go. Pat it out. Maybe do a quick stretch here. Mm. Alrighty. And we're gonna get into some more booty exercises. So I like to mix it up with a little bit of like planks. So again, we strengthen our core, so it'll make getting into our glutes and our legs a lot more efficient and a lot easier. So you're gonna come down to your left forearm and you're gonna stay on your knees or bend your knees. And then you're gonna come up, you're gonna be in a side plank on your knees. So if this is too much, option is just drop the hip. But try and keep it up here. So again, you wanna get into the obliques, wanna strengthen your core. So you're just gonna take that top leg, right leg, float it a little bit, heel is to the seat, right hand behind the head, elbows wide, just bring the knee in. So knee to elbow, press it back. Knee, press back. So you wanna make sure when the knee comes back down, you press it back behind the hip. Press back. Keep breathing. Now hold it back, just press, press. So the knee should be back and behind that hip line. So if you look, you shouldn't see your knee coming forward. Keep it back. So that's how you're gonna get into this side right here. So lifting and toning that area. Back, back. Shoulders down out of the ear. Hold it back, extend the leg. Extend, bend. Straighten, bend. So same thing here. You wanna make sure all the way in, all the way out. Extend, bend in. Next one, you're gonna hold it straight. Just lift, lower, lift, lower. So still keep the knee back, just a little bit back behind your hip. Don't let it come forward here because you'll lose the work. Keep it back. So if you take that right hand, you should be able to feel the work right here in the side. Now hold it up, just lift, lift. So keep breathing, nice and strong. Last 10. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Pat that out quickly, and then just flip on over to the other side. We're gonna do that again. So come to the right forearm, knees should be bent. Option to lift the hip up, and then float that top leg. Hand behind the head, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow, press back. Knee to elbow, press back. So the knee stays bent the whole time. Press back behind the hips when you open. So press back, press back. So on that press back, you kinda wanna feel a little click sensation here in that corner of the seat. Now hold it back, just press, press. So again, focusing more into that corner now. Back, back. So when you look by your hips, the knee shouldn't be in front, it should be behind. Back, back. Keep breathing. You did it on the other side, you can do it on this one. So embrace that shake, that cramping sensation. That's what you wanna feel here. Hold it back, leg extends, bend, extend, bend. So all the way out, all the way in. Still keeping the knee back. Think about maybe having it at a back diagonal. Keep pulling your abs in. Now hold it straight. You lift, lower, lift, lower. Keep breathing, one more change here. Now hold it up, lift and lift. This is where we finish it out. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nice work. Give yourself a round of applause for that one. That is a toughie. All righty, so now we're just gonna flip on over to our front side and lay down. So you're gonna come onto your forearms. So like in yoga, we call this a, sphin a sphinx pose. So you're gonna come like this, feet just a little bit wider than the hips, and then again, alternate kicking the seat. You're gonna kick right, kick left, kick right, kick left. 
So we're gonna call this a working recovery here. So you're still doing work. You're still working our, our abs by pulling it in. Still working the glutes by doing these little curls. But you're also taking it kind of as a recovery period, lowering that heart rate. Next one, hold both feet down. And now you're gonna lay all the way down. Reach the arms up. Now alternate lifting legs. Lift right, lower, left, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Option to just rest the hands here for now. So squeezing the back side here, also squeezing the lower back. Next one, you're gonna option to lift the opposite arm. So lift, lower, lift, lower. So lifting the leg with the opposite arm. So keep the chest up. Next one, hold both up. Just do little swims here. Little swim and swim. So keep the navel pulling away from the mat. Keep the glutes squeezing. Keep breathing. Get as high as you can. Hold it nice and still, last eight for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. Now we're gonna press on up. All right, we're gonna get into our cool down, stretch everything out. So just take a lay down on your back. Oh, you're gonna plant your feet into the floor and then take your right ankle, bring it, or your left ankle, bring it over your right knee, flexing the foot. So you have a figure four here. <sighs> Try to press that left knee wide, <sighs> whatever feels good. And then maybe lift that bottom leg, bring closer to the chest. Option, grab behind the right thigh. <sighs> so do whatever feels comfortable here. If you wanna pull closer, pull closer. If you wanna press that left knee out a little bit, go ahead and press. Just keep your feet flex, protecting your joints. One more big deep inhale. And exhale. And let the legs drop. And then drop them over to that right side. Little twist here. So you're gonna look over to the left. So just stretching out the obliques a little bit. Oh, and carefully come on up, reset, do that again. Right ankle over left knee, flexing the foot, knee wide. And maybe bring that leg closer to your chest. Option, grab behind the thigh. Do whatever feels comfortable, wherever you really feel that stretch. Just try and keep your shoulders down. And set the left foot down. Let the legs drop over to the left side. Look to the right. Stretching out the abs. And then bring it back center. Bring the knees into the chest. Curl yourself into a ball, chin to chest. Maybe take a few rocks back and forth until you come on up to seated. And you're gonna take a nice straddle stretch here. <sighs> oh, come down to your lowest, lowest point. So whatever is comfortable for you. Maybe walk over a little bit to that right side. So stretching out the legs here, thighs. And then maybe walk over to the left, just even it out. And back to center as well as you can, nice and comfortable for you. Just feel that stretch. Carefully, come on up. Bring the soles of your feet together to a butterfly here. So option, maybe just gently push the knees down, nice and gentle if you want a little bit of an extra stretch. Maybe also fold over here. And take a nice deep inhale. And 
exhale, come on up, send your legs forward, give them a little shake out and give yourself a round of applause. Great work today. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. <laughs>